If I thought the Boston Celtics was going to be easy, the Brooklyn Nets is definitely going to be a challenge. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Toxicity and welcome back to the NBA 2K25 Rebuild here on the channel. Today, we are going to find ourselves in our first five-year rebuild and that's going to be with the Brooklyn Nets. Now, the Brooklyn Nets are a bit of an interesting team. They made a huge trade and traded away Mikhail Bridges just to get some draft capital back this offseason. And they have the emergence of Cam Thomas, Nick Claxton, and quite a few older contracts and older bodies here on the team that we can definitely look to trade away. But it's going to be a really interesting year. Now, if we take a look, we do have our assets or some of our assets back from the Knicks. And uh, yeah, we have a few first round picks here. There's a few in here that are apparently incorrect. I can go on Fansville and have a look, but I think I might just leave it as it is. I don't think I want to sit here for, you know, 20, 30 minutes trying to trade and organize all this properly. So 2K should just have that automatically done. So today we're going to be looking at the Brooklyn Nets, and I'm very excited to see what we can do with this team. I don't think we're going to make many moves off the start, but setting this rotation is probably going to be a bit interesting. Okay, my aim is not to be good this year. We want to try and get a early pick as possible. I'll be completely happy with that. So Ben Simmons, Cam Thomas, Bogdan, Cam Johnson, Claxton is the starting five. Do we instead throw Tariq Whitehead in here instead? I I think we might throw Tariq Whitehead in there instead. Uh... Trend and Watford might actually be a bit better. No, let's just let's just go Drake Whitehead. I feel like he can definitely um have some upside. So we'll give uh we'll still give Bogdan like 14 minutes. That's fine. He can still build a bit of trade value and we'll see what the young guy can do here. Um oh yeah, and the, the bench is just gonna be a bit of a longer bench. We got Finney Smith, who actually wanna give less minutes to as well. Um and Schroeder. I kind of want to give our young guys more minutes than these older guys. I, don't, I I know the trade value of these guys is going to probably go down a little bit, but I'd much rather see Trent and Wofford uh, and Sharp and these guys get some more minutes. So we might just make the bench a bit more even. We'll do something like this. And I know we're not going to be good. I don't think, uh, if I have a look here, we don't have our first round pick um, this year. We, we don't know. So that's fine. What we can do is we can try and just be okay and hope some of these other teams are bad and then we can maybe even trade for our pick or it might be protected. I think it actually might be protected. Swap worse with Nets. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. What we're going to do is we're going to go through this uh, period. We're going to go down to the trade deadline and I'll catch you guys when we're there. Trade deadline, we're 19 and 32, which has us 12 in the conference. It's kind of where I expect it to be, but I think we could probably be lower i, I kind of want to be lower i kind of want to be in the runnings i kind of want to be lower than toronto and charlotte we're not going to probably get that low anymore we're probably going to drop below toronto but that's okay um we don't want to be good i'm going to look for a few trades to, just to get off some of these contracts and clear up some cap space clear up some space in this team so some of these young guys can get some more minutes i think we're going to move on from players like dennis schroeder bogdan we might look for a trade for Finney Smith. We might keep him around just as a bench piece. Unsure if we're going to be able to trade Ben Simmons. I feel like we're only going to be able to move him for like a Gabe Vincent or someone like that, who we could potentially just sit on the bench and leave. But I really just don't want to have extra filler on this team. But yeah, even Shake Milton, like that contract's on low. But there's a, there's a lot of picks we can potentially get from some of these players. And I, I want to get more minutes for Cam Thomas. I want to get more minutes for Claxton. I think I want to keep Cam Johnson around, but definitely some more minutes for guys like Clowney, Sharp, Watford, just stuff like that. Let's see what we can do. Okay, the first trade we're going to do here is we're going to send Dennis Schroeder to the Atlanta Hawks for a 27 first round pick. We're also going to get Muhammad Guy in this, who's probably not going to play much for us, but this clears a lot of salary and gets us a pick, which is exactly what we're going to want to do. So I'm completely happy with that. And I think we need to look for maybe a young point guard at this trade deadline to develop next to Cam Thomas as well. Get him some minutes because I don't think Ben Simmons, obviously Ben Simmons is not that guy. He's had a pretty okay year for us this year, but I think maybe him coming off the bench would be the best choice for us. So let's uh, see what we can do with Bogdan. Maybe we can look for a young point guard in the trade with Bog for, for Bogdan and uh, let's see what we can work with here. 
Okay, so this trade with the Charlotte Hornets is going to be sending out Bojan and Shake Milton and a first round pick, but the first round pick is mostly for Nick Smith Jr. He's not playing at all for the Hornets at the moment. I feel like we could develop him into our starting point guard. We can play him next to Cam Thomas. There might not be too much defense there, but I feel like we can make up for it with the backcourt that we build. And we're also going to take on the contract of Duncan Robinson. He's got two years, but we can definitely use him in a filler for a trade. And they're actually not going to say yes. Um, I'll be willing to part with two second picks, two second round picks at the most. I hope you accept this. And they're going to say no. Okay, I'll throw in a third. I'll throw in our one next this year. They're not going to say yes. Wow. Okay. Um, I feel like I, I do like Nick Smith Jr. He develops nicely in this game. I feel like we do need someone that could start at the point guard. I will honestly throw in... I throw in Zaire Williams. I, he's not really in the team at the moment. He's 23 years old and they accept. Okay, perfect. Amazing. So we make some changes. I think we get a little bit better. I'm going to fix this rotation. Um, I want to actually start. I don't think they're even going to have him in the team. Um, I'm going to start Nick Smith Jr. And we're going to play Ben Simmons as like a 10 man, I think. And I'm just going to adjust this rotation a little bit and then i guess i'll see you guys at the end of the year the year luca is your mvp reset share is rookie of the year six man the augusta armor thompson Deepway, wemby uh most improved Cade cunningham how did he get most improved i mean assists fell off but points per game went up um shooting splits definitely improved okay yep yeah, sure uh clutch player the augusta shea and jason kidd is your coach of the year the mavs had a really good year cool so i don't think we're gonna get anyone on any of these teams which is absolutely fine like we lost a lot of games this year did we make the plans we didn't so let's just simulate and see how things go the most important thing and where this rebuild really starts is going to be the draft we're going to select some players that hopefully take us to the future so julius randall and the timberwolves make it and carl anthony carl anthony towns and the knicks make it so that's a really interesting final series and the timberwolves win in six and anthony edwards is your finals mvp love to see it so Let's jump into this offseason. This is going to be super important for us. So player retirements, we've got LeBron retiring. Do we have Edward? I don't think we have anyone on our team, which is fine. Um, no one's really that old anyway. Um, Hall of Fame and Jersey retirements, I'm guessing that's going to be, yeah, Russ, LeBron, Carl Lowry. Draft lottery. Now, this is going to be the important night. I'm hoping we get a bit of luck. I think I'm going to be okay to trade up if we need to. And I'm completely fine if we do need to trade up. So the Rockets via Brooklyn, I think that's, I think it's protected. Or oh, we get number, no, we get the worst one. We get the worst one. Okay, so we get potentially 10, but I'm going to be happy to trade up anyway. So we get eight. Okay, that's fine. And I think we get 24 as well. So I kind of want to get into the top three. So if we can go talk to maybe the Grizzlies, the Jazz or the Wizards, uh, I think we can maybe get a deal done and maybe send them some players and hopefully move up so we can maybe get a Cooper flag or an Ace Bailey. But uh, let's go see if we can make that work. Okay, so we have a lot of first round picks to offer this year. I'm going to see if we can get a deal done without trading eight and we're going to try and get the pick number two. So let's see if they'll agree to this. They're not going to agree to that. So I'm willing to offer a few more future picks here. So there's a swap worse with the 76ers in 2028, which... I I think we, we could be okay with saying goodbye to. They're not going to say yes to that. And I, I do really want to keep eight. We can keep eight or we can keep 15, either or. And uh, let's also offer the Suns pick next year could potentially be really valuable. So let's just throw in a Knicks pick in 2027 and see what they say. They agree. Okay, so we get pick two. So if Ace Bailey goes first here, we get Cooper Flag. If Cooper Flag goes first here, we can potentially get Ace Bailey. Or we can go and get like a Nolan Traor or someone like that. And then we have our point guard rotation for the future. Cooper Flag goes number one. Okay. That's completely fine. Do we want to take Ace Bailey? Or do we want to take a chance and see if we can potentially keep... I, I think we just take Ace Bailey. I think we have to take Ace Bailey and hopefully eight lands us a Dylan Harper or a Nolan Traor. We could even see if we can move up again, which is very risky maybe we talk to the rockets maybe we talk to the rockets and see i i do want <sighs> do we just take a risk we just got ace bailey it's okay okay let's just see so nolan trail goes next okay okay so i'm glad we didn't move up 
Um, let's just see who goes. VJ Edgecombe goes. Uh, Dylan Harper goes. So Dylan Harper would have been great to pick up as well. Kata Malak goes. Uh, Igor Demon goes. Okay, and it's us at eight here. So Liam McNeely is still here. Hugo Gonzalez is here. Trey Johnson is still here. There's no other point guards here. So I think uh, I think we might take Liam here. Or do we take Trey Johnson? These guys. Um, Hugo Gonzalez is first playmaking. We took him yesterday though. Okay, let's go Liam McNeely here. I think that's a really good draft. That's an awesome draft for us. I wish Nolan Trio fell to us, but he didn't. We scoop up Ace Bailey. We scoop up Liam McNeely. And uh, I'm I'm completely happy with that. Uh, we're going to bring back all these guys, which is great to see. And then moving on to qualifying offers, Jalen Martin. Uh, we will um, we'll just will not offer that. And then yeah, so next year I I don't know if we want to try and be better next year or try and be good. So we do have Ben Simmons here, who we're going to let go, and Keon Johnson we're also going to let go. So yeah, what is our rotation going to be looking like this year? Because I think we can make some moves. So I don't want to play Duncan Robinson. We can potentially look to move him now. So we got, we need a backup point guard. We don't want to play Shake Milton. And then I think we have the rest of our rotation pretty much set. We can even move Clowney over to the power forward spot to play him a little bit more as well. So I'm going to look for a trade potentially for a backup point guard. Uh, or we can even look to just maybe move some of these players on. Whatever the reason, the Lakers want to offer us a first round pick for Duncan Robinson. I'm happily going to accept that. So I think we're going to have to maybe try and work out a different sort of trade. I think we might have to throw in maybe Shake Milton and Finney Smith. Or we'll try Muhammad Guy and see what we can find here for a backup point guard. I don't think we're going to sign many people. There's so many first round picks being thrown around here. This is insane. All I want is a backup point guard. We might have to just sign somebody and, and take some of these picks and run with it. Cause, okay. Okay, Golden State. I, okay. Whatever, man. We're gonna sign a point guard in moratorium, I guess. And then uh, that's gonna be our trade. So I don't know who we're gonna sign. Uh, like Lonzo Ball is here. We don't have the money for Lonzo Ball. Um, or maybe we do. Um, that could be really interesting. Nick Smith Jr. could come off the bench. But I don't think we should go all in on someone like that. Someone like a Trey Jones would be good. Or a Tyrus Jones. I think maybe... I think maybe a Trey Jones would be would be a good pickup. So let's offer Trey Jones a contract. Let's see if he'll do uh, two years at, tw uh, at 13 mil. Let's see if he'll accept that. Um, and then do we have anyone else to worry about? So Trendon, oh, we need to bring back Trendon Watford as well. Uh, that's one person we do need to bring back, but everyone else here, we're going to say goodbye to. So Trent and Wofford will try and bring back, uh, and we do get Trent Jones. Okay. So Trent and Wofford is 75 overall. So we'll try and bring him back. Cause I think he could still be pretty useful for this team. And then that's going to be pretty much it. We're just going to run with this team. We're going to hopefully develop a lot of these players and, uh, he's only going to want six mil. So yeah, let's just, let's just offer him six mil and bring him back so cool so that's going to be pretty much it we move on from a lot of players this year we bring in two young guns and that's pretty much all we're going to do this offseason we're going to rely on the draft again next year and then we have three more years after next year to really aim to be championship contenders so cam johnson is down which is unfortunate we could have looked to traded for a young uh power forward in the offseason but ace bailey's here nick claxton's up cam thomas is up uh, Noah Clowney's up, Smith Jr.'s up, everyone's up, which is great to see. So I'm going to set this rotation and I'm either going to see you guys at the trade deadline or I'll just see you guys at the end of the year. So at the end of year two, Luca is your MVP. Cooper Flag wins Rookie of the Year. There are some insane numbers. Uh, Tyler Hero is the sixth man of the year in the Heat and Miami Heat. Um, why is he six man? That's interesting. Uh, Wemby is your depoy. Alexander Saar is your most improved. That shouldn't go to sophomore players, but it always seems to go to them. Clutch of the year goes to Giannis on also insane numbers. And Jason Kidd, 71 and 11 is the coach of the year. Wow. Dallas is, is cooking in this, uh, simulation. So any nets on any of these teams, you do get Nick Claxton here on all defensive second team. And Ace Bailey was second in rookie of the year running. And we also get Liam, Liam McNeely here. So that's cool to see. So we end up as the 
third seed and i'm i'm happy with that i kind of don't want to to win though because we still have you know a lot of development to go through uh cam thomas led the way in scoring ace bailey Derek whitehead cam johnson nick smith jr uh Derek whitehead could even if we can see what he does when you move him over to a power forward he can even start over cam johnson next year and then i might not be so against paying the man the money nick smith jr 30 million dollars for these stats is probably not the, gr the greatest option but it is what it is. Uh, Trey Jones was a great little backup. Liam McNeely did have a good year. Uh, Clowney and Sharp are uh, not too bad. Either rebounds by Claxton and assists by Ace Bailey. So, um, yeah, not not the best from Nick Smith Jr. I think we, we need to definitely look for a more playmaking assist style point guard of the future. Maybe the draft could be nice to us. So, uh, yeah, let's just have a look and see uh, what's going to happen with this play-ins. I'm not expecting to get past the Knicks who they got back RJ Barrett. Do they trade OG Ananobi back for RJ Barrett? Is that really what they did? That that would be insane. Miles McBride for Larry Nance Jr. Oh, Miles McBride, but yeah, OG, OG Ananobi and a first round pick for RJ Barrett. Okay, good job, 2K. Well done. Uh, so game one against the Knicks, we we win. Game two against the Knicks, we win. Game three against the Knicks, we lose. Game four against the Knicks, we win. And then game five against the Knicks. We win, so we move across to round two. This is insane because we built a much better team with the Boston Celtics and we got absolutely destroyed every round. We come up against Orlando, we have Cole Anthony, Isaiah Joe now, uh, Franz Wagner, Paolo, and Wendell Carter. They also have Jalen Duran. That's a very impressive team. Game one, we lose. Game two, we lose. Game three, we win. Game four, we win. So we tie the series up. Game five, we lose. And then game six, we win. Okay, so game seven against the Magic. Against the second seeded Magic. I can't believe we're doing this with this team. Um, we have, that's a pretty high scoring first quarter. That second quarter is really good as well. Uh, third quarter, a bit back and forth. And the fourth quarter, so we win in seven by 15 points. And we're on to the conference finals in our second year in charge. Brooklyn is back, baby. Brooklyn is back. So we're coming up against... Therese Halliburton, Nemhard, Mathurum, Siakul, Siakam, and Turner. So nothing, nothing's really changed with Indiana here. They still have Obi Toppin, still have Jarris Walker. Yeah, they really haven't changed anything. Um, okay, I'm not expecting to get past the Pacers. They're the one seed for a reason. They've just destroyed Washington and Milwaukee. So uh, game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. Oh my God, we were about to sweep them. No, okay, so they're going to come back from 3-1 down. No, but we move on to the NBA Finals, man. And we come up against Luka and the Mavs. And Ace Bailey is absolutely killing it, man. That is insane. What is going on right now? Is 2K just being nice to me today? So here's the scoring. Here's the rebounds. Here's the assists. Wow, we're into the Finals. The young Brooklyn team in our second year in charge. Game one against the Mavs, we win. Game two against the Mavs, we lose. Game three against the Mavs, we lose. Game four against the Mavs, we win. Game five, we lose. And then game six, oh, game, game seven. Well, yeah, game six, we lose. Okay, so we're losing six to the Dallas Mavericks. Luka is your finals MVP. And we make it all the way there in our second year in charge, a year that I wasn't anticipating being in the playoffs. That's insane, man. So Clay's going to retire with a championship on the Mavs. Um, former Clipper Bogdan is going to retire as well. Um, Chris Paul and James Harden also retire. So, wow, what an off season! That uh, what a postseason. That's insane. So we our picks are going to be really bad this year. I don't think we're going to actually have many there. We don't have any there. Insane. So the Rockets via Washington and the Rockets via Brooklyn. So, okay. So this is going to be interesting. So we don't have any picks. That's fine. Um, I don't know why I did that again. Staff signing. We're going to keep Jordy Fernandez around because he got us all the way there in a year that I didn't actually expect us to to get to the playoffs we did. Um, so let's just have a look at this draft. We might actually... We don't have any picks in this draft. I thought we did. Or maybe it's 2027 and we have a lot, but uh, we maybe traded them. Yeah, we probably traded them. That's okay. Um, so I'm fine with that. Um, we don't have any rookie team player options. Um... We're going to sim too. So Nick Smith Jr. and Drake Whitehead are both back. We're going to have to pay them next offseason. So we're going to have to probably think of some options 
for some better players or some trades. So do we have any notable free agents here? We have Finney Smith. Um, I'll bring Finney Smith back on the minimum. We may as well. And then we don't have anyone really here. So is there a couple of trades that we could make? Is there, a, is there something we could do? I think there might be. So um, look, we have Trey Jones, Nick Smith Jr. We have uh, Cam Thomas, Neil McNeely. We have Ace Bailey, Drake Whitehead. And we have Cam Johnson. And we'll trade him off for didn't even play for us last year. So maybe we can look to move on from Cam Johnson. And then, uh, yeah, maybe that's something we can, we can look to build. We're going to talk to Detroit about trying to get Cade Cunningham. I hope this trade goes through. Will it go through? It does. Okay, so three first round picks is probably an overpay, but I don't see us using them uh, if we get Cade Cunningham. So Nick Smith Jr., who is developing really well, but we have Trey Jones as a backup. Nick Smith Jr.'s numbers weren't that great, and he wanted a big bag. So I'd rather have Cade Cunningham. We gave up Cam, jo Cam Johnson as well. We have Trenton Wofford who could come into the team. And then we also got uh, Dorian Finney-Smith. So we make a big upgrade in our team. I'm quite happy with that. I think this team is is looking up for the future. We do have like our, our power forwards aren't the greatest. We could definitely look to potentially sign someone. But I think maybe Noel Clowney or Trenton Wofford might be good in that position. I don't think I want to make any more big trades, but maybe if we could sign a power forward, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, is there anyone here? There's no one really here. Like Trey Lyles is a bit older. Najee Marshall. Yeah, none of these guys I, I really like too much. So I think I'm fine with just rolling with this team. We had huge expect, well, no expectations last year. Now we made it to the finals. I think we have a bit more expectations on us this year. So I'm happy to move forward into player progression and see how some of these other guys develop. Ace Bailey and the like hopefully are going to be jumping up quite a bit and uh, hopefully we can make another splash next year. I think next off season we focus on the power forward spot, but for now I think this team is going to be good enough. So Cade Cunningham's up to a 91 overall, Ace Bailey up to an 86, Cam Thomas 84. This team is going to be really good next year. I'm very excited. Let's jump in. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. 61 and 21. And Luka Doncic is your MVP on the Clippers, which is disgusting. AJ DeBansa is the Rookie of the Year. Marcus Sassar, Sixth Man of the Year. Defensive player goes to Wemby yet again. May as well name it the Wemby Award. Rob Dillingham, Most Improved. Now, that that's Most Improved. That's Most Improved numbers right there. 100%. I'd give that to him. Clutch Player of the Year goes to Anthony Edwards. And Jordy Fernandez is the Coach of the Year. Does that mean we're the one seed? We don't have we don't have anyone on all NBA teams, which is sad as. Um, and we don't have anyone on oh we do, we have Nick Claxton and all defensive second team, and that's it. So we end up being the one seed, which is amazing. I'm so happy with that. Our first one seed in NBA 2K25, and our first 60 win season in 2K25 as well. These are the numbers right there. Pretty decent, pretty good. Um, Cam Thomas doesn't have to be that guy anymore, but I'd, I'd like him to score a little bit more. Maybe we can boost his shot tendency up a little bit. But Cade Cunningham, this is his team now. Uh, Ace Bailey is just doing Ace Bailey things. You'd love to see that. Uh, rebounds led by Claxton and assists led by Cunningham as well. Um, Ace Bailey also dominating in the rebounds too. That's that's just insane to see. Okay, so we're here as the one seed, and we're going to go up against the Celtics, who we rebuilt last time, and uh, they have Dennis Schroeder now. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. I went in a different direction, obviously. Uh, we win game one. We lose game two. Wow. But we win game three. We win game four. And what happens in game five? We win. So we move on against the Pacers, who eliminated... Oh, we beat last year in a seven series, I'm pretty sure. And they haven't made any changes. Very interesting. The Pacers seem to always kind of stay the same in NBA 2K. So let's see what happens when we rebuild them eventually. So game one, we win. Game two, we lose. Game three, we win. Um, oops, game four. What happens in game four? We win. And then in game five, we also we, we lose. Okay, I thought we were going to win. Holy crap. And then we win in game six. So we beat them in six and we come up against Charlotte, who suddenly just like rebuild really well in 2K25. I know 2K24, they weren't that good. Um, but they have a pretty interesting team there. Dylan Harp is a good addition, but we should beat them. We, sh we should beat them. If we're the team that we we are and we we made the one seed, we should definitely beat them. So game one goes to us. 
Game two goes to us. Game three goes to them. Game four goes to them. Okay, so we have a series here. Game five goes to us. And then game six, can we finish them out uh, away? So maybe we force a game seven. Maybe they force a game seven. We have a really good third quarter. We have a, a second quarter and a really good third quarter. Sorry, hold them to 12 points. And we absolutely blow them out here. And we win in seven. So Armin Thompson and Kay Cunningham are your MVPs of the finals. We are back in the finals for the second straight year. That's insane. In a rebuild, a proper rebuilding team. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to the Rockets. Game four goes to us. And then game five goes to the Rockets. Okay. <laughs> I was getting ahead of myself. <laughs> game six, uh, it's in Houston. So we're up by a little bit. Hopefully we have a strong third quarter. It's an okay third quarter. And a fourth quarter, it looks like we're going to beat them. And the Brooklyn Nets in the third year of our rebuild are NBA champions. Look at that. That is absolutely insane. Ace Bailey is your finals MVP. That is cool. I'm happy with that. I'm so very happy with that. So can we go back to back? I don't think we're going to really be... Kevin Durant was on the Mavs. That's insane. I don't think we're going to really be making too many changes. Paul George, Kevin Durant are retiring. Um, we probably will have draft lottery picks. Uh, I think we have like other teams picks. I, I swear, maybe, actually we traded them for Kate Cunningham. Completely forgot. Staff signing. Jordy Fernandez is that guy. Jordy Fernandez 100% is that guy. I Hopefully we can... Uh, Hopefully we can ascend, like extend him. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, we we'll keep him around long term. So let's have a look and see. Um, we do have a couple picks here that I'm gonna happily use. We have pick ten. I am going to take. Uh, Taj Ariza sounds pretty good. Uh, James Worthy. Yeah, Ariza sounds pretty good actually. Let's take Ariza. Um. And then that's that's our pick. That's all we have. Okay, perfect. So we managed to sign someone. I'm um, happy with that. We can keep our like development going. Uh, team player options: Ace Bailey and Liam and Neely. We're going to keep around. We signed a few players, so we don't we shouldn't have too many players out of contract right now. But we'll have a look and see. Moratorium. Uh, we have Trenton Wofford, who we'll just we'll just bring back. Um, we'll pay him a little bit of money. He's now an NBA champion. And then do we have with Trey Jones out of contract as well, 79 overall. So we'll definitely bring him back and we'll resign renounce rights on all those guys. So Trey Jones, I'd like to keep around. He's definitely an important piece of this team. He's a great backup. So he wants he only wants seven mil. Um look, we'll lock him away. And then we might make a make a trade for someone. So is there anyone that we actually want to upgrade? Now, getting a better power forward might be worth it. Um, like we don't have money to go and sign anyone. We have 14 million to play with. So maybe we can sign someone and trade them. Uh, I don't normally like doing that, but we could potentially make a nice little trade for, uh, someone pretty special. So let's just sign Bobby Portis. Um, uh, see if he'll come over and he will, and we'll, we'll look to maybe trade him. We're going to see if we can bring in Patrick Williams to be our starting power forward next year and have Clowney come off the bench. We're just going to throw in Bobby Portis Jr., Trenton Wofford. I know that's going to get the deal done, um, but I'm happy just to offer these guys. We're going to make a change to the team just so it looks a little bit different and they accept. So I think that's the only trade we're really going to go with this year. And then next year, we're going to make another trade into our final year. I did say it was going to be five years, so we need to make it a little bit interesting. Maybe next year we'll make a play on maybe another star. But Kate Cunningham's down to a 90 overall for some reason. Ace Bailey is up to an 89. Liam McNeely's up. Cam Thomas and Claxon look like they're stagnating a little bit, which is fine. Uh, Clowney's up a little bit. So, yeah, I'm excited for this team. Let's run it back, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. 67 and 15. One of my best records in an NBA rebuild on 2K. Tyrese Halliburton is MVP, which is nice to see. Tyrant Stokes is rookie of the year. Six man of the year goes over Liam McNeely. Whoa, love to see that. Defensive player of the year goes to Wemby. Akoff Jr. is your most improved. And uh, let's have a look. Another sophomore. Okay, cool. And uh, Jokic is clutch player of the year. Jordy Fernandez again is the coach of the year. We love to see it. Uh, we get Ace Bailey here on an all NBA second team, which is amazing. Do we get Nick Claxton? Um, we got Ace Bailey on all defensive second team as well. Wow. 
That's crazy. And we're the one seed again. Okay, this team, whatever we did in that second year, it's just worked. Everything is just going so good. Uh, Cade Cunningham, 24 points, almost almost 7 assists. Ace Bailey, 29 and 5. That, that career progression is just insane. And that 3-point shot is falling. Cam Thomas is just doing Cam Thomas things. He doesn't have to be the number one option anymore. For whatever reason, that 3-point shot fell away. Maybe he's taking more. Uh, Liam McNeely was great. Derek Whitehead was great. Paddy Williams was a great acquisition. Love to see that. Clowney and Claxon were great. Everyone is just performing well on this team. So who are we going to get? Going to get the Raptors, who have Braden Burries, Grady Dick, OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Caden Malak, and Quinton Grimes. Okay, I'm so confident that we're going to beat this team, that we're just going to do this, and we win in five. And we come up against Cleveland Cavaliers, who... They don't really change too much in these rebuilds. They've got Jovic now. They've got Jalen Tyson starting. That's a bit of a scary team. So game one goes to Brooklyn. Game two goes to Brooklyn. Game three goes to Brooklyn. And then game four, and we sweep. Okay. Crazy. We come up against the Pacers and the MVP of the league. They added Chris Murray now. They lost Miles Turner. So Jarris Walker is uh, starting as the center, which is very interesting. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to the Pacers. Game three goes to the Pacers. Game four goes to the Pacers. And do we lose? Game five goes to us. Game six goes to us. Okay, so game seven. Here we go. So are they about to choke a 3-1 lead? We're at home as well. So if Ace Bailey can switch on here and just run away with it, I'll be very happy. Our third quarter is great. Our fourth quarter is a bit back and forth. And we win in seven. We're through to the NBA Finals for the third year in a row. And we could potentially be seeing someone. We see Anthony Edwards in the Timberwolves. Um, and Halliburton is still the Eastern Conference Finals MVP, which is wild. So game one against the Timberwolves, we lose. Game two against the Timberwolves, we win. Game three against the Timberwolves, we win. Game four against the Timberwolves, we win. And then game five at home, are we going to run away with our second championship in a row? That first quarter is amazing. Second quarter is amazing. Third quarter, holy shit, we are strangling this Timberwolves team. They finally get a bit of a run in the fourth quarter, but it's too late. Your Brooklyn Nets are two-time champions. Wow, Ace Bailey back-to-back -back finals MVPs. We can hopefully get him an MVP next year, man. That's insane. Okay, going into our final year in charge, I do want to make a couple changes on this team. I'm not sure where those changes are going to come from. Tobias Harris, uh, Jimmy Butler, Steph Curry. Quite a few retirements here, which are good to see. Oh, sad to see. Um, but they had amazing careers. Steph Curry gets his jumper retired. Did Jimmy Butler not get his jumper retired? That's insane. I I, I would have thought that he would have um, had his jumper retired. So, staff signing. We'll bring back the GOAT, Jordy Fernandez. This is the most fun I've ever had in a... In a rebuild. This is just insanely fun. Um, is Fernandez here? Wait, where is Jordy? Did we go past him? I'm so confused. Um Where is he? Alex Polsha, Charles Lee, uh Fernandez, Jordy Fernandez. There we go. Um, let's offer him a bag. He's a championship winning coach, um, and he is coming back. To the Brooklyn Nets. We love to see it. Uh, I'm just I'm just so happy that this has gone this way. I actually don't know what happened in year two. Normally this doesn't go my way at all. So we have pick eight and uh, I think we just take the best kind of uh, ranked player. Um, this center Shaquille O'Neal. Okay welcome to the squad. Um, we have pick 16 as well. Why are they just recommending these players? Um, Gary Payton, uh, yeah, Ray Allen. Okay, we'll take that. Um, we have a lot of picks, man. Wait, okay, we'll, we'll draft Stacey Craig, um, and then we'll let our other guy take over, um, our assistant take over. So, uh, we, we won't sign this guy, but we'll sign, oh, we'll bring him on back on a two-way, man, as well. Um, yeah, we'll sign the, all these guys and we can potentially make like a big trade with them. Team player options, Ace Bailey, Liam Neely, Patrick Williams has declined. It's okay, we can pay him. Or we can look to maybe get a new power forward. Qualifying offers, uh, meh. 
those guys can 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 leave us that's fine so Paddy Williams is going to want 26 mil um I'm happy to yeah I mean if you would accept like 20 over uh, 21 over three I'll uh I'll offer him that and he's going to accept okay cool so I think once we get past moratorium there's definitely a trade or two that can be made I think we go big this roster is is pretty good. Like we already have our point guard rotation locked up. We have our shooting guard locked. Lo yeah, we have our shooting guards locked up, but we could potentially trade Cam Thomas and let Ariza. Like he he hasn't even been playing. He was a first round pick last year. Um, we have our small forwards locked up. We have our power forwards, I guess, and we have our center. But we could maybe make a big move and try and get someone absolutely crazy. Okay, we're going to try and get Chet. I don't know if this is possible. We're going to offer up Nick Claxton, Tarza Razor, and Jerry Walters, and three first-round picks. I have never get Chet. I feel like this will be fun, and <laughs> they're not going to do that. Okay, that's a shame. I honestly thought that we could potentially get Chet. Um, is there another player that we can potentially throw in here too, like uh, Alan Jennings? Oh, they can't afford that. Um, okay. Damn, I really kind of wanted to get Chet. I don't think Wemby's going to be an option. Uh, Joel Embiid is regressing quite a bit. Could be... I don't think we can afford Giannis at all. Um, unless we throw in another player, like Patrick Williams. Like, <laughs> is that... Uh, then I wouldn't want to get rid of Claxton. I uh, wouldn't want to get rid of Claxton. Is there anyone else that we can throw in here that's on decent money that we could potentially... Yeah, not really. Um, unless we want to see what Daron Sharp can do and sign a backup center and just see. Would they do this? I don't think they would do this, right? Is this all this for Giannis? <laughs> they don't agree. Damn, man. I, I just want to get one of these like superstar players. Um, if we can maybe do a trade for a power forward that could get us someone like absolutely insane i would actually really like that like evan mobley could be cool we got him the other day Kawhi leonard is regressing quite a lot there's no one else that really jumps out at me at all like a lot of players are starting to retire starting to say goodbye uh julius randall's regressing quite a bit too but chet on the knicks is like he's on the knicks like he would be really interesting to pick up Anthony Davis could be really interesting. Um, I would offer I would offer Nick Claxton in this trade too. And uh do we offer Patrick Williams or do we offer someone else? Uh who else do we have? Don't we have a young couple young players? Uh Jennings. Would this get this done? I do love Nick Claxton, but we get Anthony Davis. Okay, so our last year in charge, we make a big, big move. So it's going to be Cade Cunningham, Trey Jones, Liam McNeely, Cam Thomas, Ace Bailey, uh, Derek Whitehead, Clowney, Patrick Williams, Anthony Davis, and Shaden Sharp, um, or Darren Sharp, sorry. I don't think... Oh, Davis might resign. Uh, resi he might regress. That's okay. Um, is there another move we can make? I don't think so. I'm happy with that. Let's go to player progression. Wow, we just signed two amazing players in the last few seasons, and hopefully we go, we get a three-peat. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, th year five. Wow, that's crazy. So at the end of year five, Ace Bailey is your MVP. I did give him 36 minutes a night just to see if he could get MVP, and it worked. Uh, Rookie of the Year goes to Craig Webb. Mikey Williams is your sixth man of the year. Deep boy goes to Wemby. Uh, Jackson Richardson is your most improved. Uh, another sophomore, but yeah, he doubled his numbers. Pretty cool. Clutch player, Diego goes to Tyrese. And we are the coach of the year again. Cool. This feels very strange. This whole rebuild has felt very strange. I literally went straight from Boston rebuild to this one. And for whatever reason, maybe it's just the player development. Maybe it's the age demographic of these players. But man, Ace Bailey's up on 93 overall. Do we get anyone else on any of these teams? I don't think we're going to. No, it doesn't look like it. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, we end up being the first seed. Um, did Nick Claxton? Uh, is he on? Is he on the? 
He is, he is here. And he averaged 10 points, six rebounds. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. He's coming off the bench in the six man role. Um, but let's have a look at our stats and numbers in our last year in charge. We end up as the first seed and Ace Bailey, 24 points. Kate Cunningham, 22 points. Cam Thomas, 16. Liam McNeely, 15. Anthony Davis, you know, did all right. He is all right. Liam McNeely with almost nine assists a game. That's insane. He he turned into a really good little spark the bench too. So we get the Magic who... I'm Honestly, do we just see how far we go? I'm just going to simulate the round every time and see how far we go. Honestly, um, we'll have a look at the teams that we come up against. But yeah, like none of these teams really, really... Okay, I was talking too soon. Okay, we get bounced by Detroit. Um, and it's Shea and OKC versus Cameron Bruiser and Atlanta. And the OKC win the final championship here, which is cool to see. So, I mean, we win two in a row in five years. I think that's uh, pretty impressive. We made the finals three years in a row. Um, didn't even make the conference finals this year, which is a shame. That could have been four in a row. But, wow. This rebuild was a lot different compared to the last two that we've done. So, yeah, let me know down below if there's any rebuilds you want to see at all. I'll definitely be working on those. I'm just working my way through the teams in alphabetical order. But I'm very excited to get into more of these as the season starts. And hopefully at the trade deadline next year, we can jump into some more. So, yeah, let me know what your favorite basketball team is below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.